Hey everyone, this is Congressman Matt Gates with the winners of the Congressional App Challenge in Florida's 1st Congressional District, Jaden Griggs and Aaliyah Skotka of Niceville High School. I am especially proud of Niceville High School, having been a graduate of that institution myself. And first I wanted to ask you, Jaden and Aaliyah, what problem solving skills did you really have to develop when you were working on this app? I know you built it during challenging pandemic times, but maybe tell us a little bit about how this Congressional App Challenge and your app specifically gave you those problem solving skills that would be leverageable in other app development or other aspects of your life. Um, I think for us, it's like the time management. Um, since we had to go through block scheduling, we had to like really organize how we were gonna like tackle certain parts of the app and like design it and through the coding and everything. Um, was you know still time consuming so when we have like a limited amount of time to work on it it's it was kind of like us being able to organize our time right and we also had to learn how to do some block coding to make like the back end of the website and the app i think you've built something very special and your app shimani obviously deals with the movement of money and uh, the obvious question would be whether or not you thought about this as a business concept because i could see it being a, a really highly utilized platform for people be able to be able to express their interest in what's going on in local schools and it seems like a far more efficient way for student organizations to raise money than the typical door knocking or bake sailing that you might have seen go, uh, go on previously and so have you thought about building out the app allowing more counties and more schools to join on uh, maybe taking a percentage of the funds raised and uh, you guys could be the next gazillionaires that come out of the tech world yeah um well we um really thought about like you know how it was a fundraising like you know app for a lot of students that can use it because you know technology has been um becoming our norm so for people to make it more ac accessible for um for people to use um is really like beneficial for you know all types of students and i think it would be really cool to branch out to uh, making it even bigger I think you guys have got a business here. I think that if this was built out and you got a bunch of student organizations and you pitch this to uh, some big companies at first that already have a budget, I mean, I think there are businesses that have budgets of forgiving that are very extensive. And if you onboarded some of them in a few schools, uh, you'd be rocking and rolling. But as you look into the future as young people who are going to shape our digital world, what are the new interesting technologies out there that excite you, that have you thinking, gosh, can't wait to get my hands on this and put my imprint on it. Right. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, the, I mean, the technologies, I would, there's like all types of like um, new ones coming up. I mean, there's um, stuff for like AIs with, you know, all those program, like all those programming ones where um, they're helping us, um, you know, with a lot of like money management too. Um, and with, I don't know, like, I don't know what else technology there is, what, you know? No, you said about AIs and yeah. The AIs, robots, you know, it being like, I guess, helpful. Um, electric cars, everything. Yeah, cars, cars electric, um, everything. apps. You ready for the driverless cars? The, the. Are the, you ready for them, the driverless cars, where instead of getting in and having to drive, you can uh, yeah. hang out, nice. have a soda, nice. eat some chips. Uh, watch a movie and, instead of having to be behind the wheel. See, when I was in high school, I couldn't wait to get behind the wheel and drive everywhere. But it sounds like you're you're ready to em embrace the robot cars, huh, Jake? Yes, sir. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. Awesome. Well, do you guys have any questions for me? Have you ever done any coding before? I have never done any coding. Honestly, I am like the most boomer millennial you know. Like the, the <laughs> gray-haired millennials like me, we, the, the scariest words that, that we could ever encounter are like instruction manual required uh, when it comes to technology. <laughs> so I'm counting all, all of you to lead us to the next generation of digital engagement. Yes, sir.